Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of perimeter, specifically how we can use different objects and different formulas to find perimeter, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So when we're looking at the perimeter of a rectangle, let's make sure we know what that formula is, because starting in the fourth grade and moving up, we're really going to shift more towards using formulas rather than just pictures. So when we're looking at the perimeter of a rectangle, what you're most likely going to see is going to be something that says this, 2L plus 2W. Sometimes the L will be a lowercase and italicized, sometimes it will look like that. And when you're looking at a square, sometimes your perimeter is going to look like this, 4S. Now, it could also work with a rectangle, and we'll talk about why that happens in just a moment. So, let's just take a sample rectangle. So, here's my sample rectangle. The perimeter, remember, is going to be all the way around. That's what that perimeter means, is what is this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. The reason we have this equation, 2L plus 2W, is that if I were to give you, let's say this is going to be 5 inches and this is 3 inches. Since it's a rectangle, you know that this top side is going to be congruent, which means same size, same shape as that bottom side. And this left side over here is going to be congruent to this right side. So even though there's only two sides listed, 3 inches, 5 inches, in your brain, you know this is also 5 inches at the bottom. This is also 3 inches on the side. So rather than seeing all four, all you need to do is take the length and double it, the width and double it. So how this would work in this particular equation is we're going to take our 2 and we're going to say our length is 5. Now, what we start doing in fourth grade and above is when we need to put two numbers together and we multiply them, Sometimes we'll do it like this. We'll use these parentheses. 2 parentheses 5 actually means 2 times 5. Sometimes you could write it like this with a dot, 2 times 5. But really, starting in 5th grade and above, we really move away from using this x, simply because we get into a lot of unknowns and variables, and sometimes x is actually an unknown, something we're looking for. So typically what we use is these parentheses. And if you don't see... Any operation, if you just see a number and a parentheses, it's always going to mean multiply. So 2 times 5, and then we're going to add this 2 times, and our width is going to be 3. So we're doubling the length, we're doubling the width. That's why we don't need to see those two sides, because we know it's going to be the same. And so if we wanted to double uh, the width, well, we might be, see it like this. We might see 2 and then dot. 3. Sometimes you'll see parentheses, sometimes you won't. And so the 2 times 5 is going to make 10, and the 2 times 3 is going to make 6. So you're going to add the 10 and the 6, and you're going to get 16. And then we'll need our units, inches. Now, how would this work with a square? Let me show you how a square works both ways. So let's say this is a square and we have a 3 meters as one side. And that's all we get is 3 meters. Well, one thing we know about the square is that all four sides are equivalent. They're all congruent. So if that's 3, that's 3, that's 3, and that's 3. So you're really just adding 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Can you use the rectangle formula to find the perimeter of a square? Yes, you can, because a square is a special type of rectangle. So I'm going to say the perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So that means 2 times the length is 3, 2 times my width, which is also 3. So I'm really looking at 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 times 3 is 6, which means 12 meters. You notice we have a simpler one, 4s. The s simply means the side. Perimeter equals 4s. My side is going to be 3, so I'm just looking at 4 times 3, and guess what I have? My perimeter is 12 meters. Same thing, just a little bit simpler.